the Jing level is a deep level. It's hard to reach, and therefore uh, certain types of Qigong. This is not just a simple warm-up Qigong like we do um, on a daily basis to just move the Qi in the channels. It's Qigong that goes deeper. So these are some of the uh, treatments. We are going to look at a few of them here. Tradition has given us a whole set of points. I've done, I've pulled them out of the classical text. All the points that contain Gui in their names. Um, uh, I've, I'm just reproducing this. I'm not uh, going to comment on them because obviously uh, it's like a set of points. Some master has used them for a particular reason and they have. Uh, uh, they have shown to be effective in certain types of gui. I have, I cannot give you any indication from my own experience. This is just a compilation. Now, the Sun Simiao protocol, uh, for longest of times, I had this set of points. I had no idea how to use them. Obviously, you cannot uh, do uh, 13 points on a person when they come to a session and then what to do with it. Master Jeffrey Yuan explained that they should be used in groups of three and uh, they should be done in this uh, sort of uh, sequel, which is grouping them and based on the symptoms that the patient is showing. And for example, somebody uh, who starts changing behavior, they start having hallucinations, um, they start seeing things, we start with the group one. If uh, the person, and this I have had many times patients who describe like they feel something sitting on their chest. Um, the, I had uh, some patients who would uh, find themselves walking without knowing where they're going and finding themselves in strange parts of the city, for example or being attracted here, it says to yin places. This could be to dark and damp uh, underground places or cemeteries, etc. cetera. Uh, so these are also uh, for people who start having very strange dreams. We start with the second group. The third group um, uh, starts uh, having people who start having imaginary talks. We Chinese call it ghost talk where they speak with uh, entities which are not visible to other people. Uh, schizophrenic uh, or schizoid attitudes. Uh, also uh, having sort of the conspiracy theories, etc. We start with group three. And group four, for, for people who have, who start self-mutilating and um, basically starting having more violent behaviors. Now, the idea is we start with the group where the symptom is manifesting. And once we are, for example, in the person who's doing self-mutilation, we start with uh, group four. Uh, here, we have actually four points, not three. And then we follow with one, two, and three. If somebody who is having, for example, um, have, starting to have uh, dialogue with themselves and talk to themselves, we start with group three, followed by group four, and then continued with group one and two. It is recommended to do the treatments close together. Now, obviously, technically speaking, this is a difficult protocol to realize because it means four sessions close together, and sometimes it's difficult to organize with the patients. Um, also, the tradition has it to throw the needles on the ground. Now, obviously, we don't do that <laughs> in our practice. The, um, the concept is not to reuse the needle on another patient. This was the old days when needles were obviously reused from one patient to another. Today, we, we, we use disposable needles, so this is not necessary. We can just simply throw them in the disposing disposal box. We don't need to throw them on the ground. Also, this is coming from a shamanistic uh, period 
where this um, gesture of throwing the needle to the ground was to bring the gui out of the person and back to the ground. So this is not necessary. I have used this protocol a few times. I cannot say I'm an expert at it, and I cannot say I have had a lot of experience, but the few times I've used have been very interesting results. Uh, so uh, you're welcome to try it if you have the possibility to do close together. It doesn't work if you see one person uh, once a week. This I find it too diluted. It's not strong enough. It has to be done more condensed, um, maybe three, four days in between the sessions at the most. Now, the Worsley protocol, this is a protocol which I have used a lot and especially as I said, it has the advantage of having been tested out by um, many, many uh, practitioners.